Hello students, in this video we discuss about cutting of springs. The most important concept related to the cutting of spring is that a spring constant of a spring is inversely proportional to its natural length. K is inversely proportional to the natural length of the spring. Let us say we have a spring of spring constant K whose length is N. This spring is cut into two pieces. Let us say they are cut into two equal halves, L by 2 length and L by 2 length. Their spring constants are K1 and K2. As the spring constant is inversely proportional to length, so when the length will become half, then spring constant must become double. That is why K1 is 2 times of K and K2 is 2 times of K. This result can be summarized like this. If a spring of a spring constant K is cut into 2 equal pieces, then each piece will have a spring constant equal to 2K. And if a spring of a spring constant K is cut into 3 equal pieces, then each piece will have a spring constant 3K. So, finally we can generalize that if a spring of a spring constant K is cut into n number of equal pieces, then each piece will have spring constant is equal to n times of k. So, this is one easy thing we can remember. But what about if the springs are not cut in equal lengths? Let us see an example on the next page. Let us understand this with the help of a question. A spring of a spring constant k is cut into two pieces of length ratio 3 is to 2, not equal but 3 is to 2. Find the spring constant of each piece. So here we have got a spring of spring constant k whose length let us suppose L. Now it is cut into two pieces. Here are the two pieces. Let us say their spring constants are k1 and k2. Now what about the lengths? Let us suppose the lengths of the small pieces are 3x and 2x. Because it is given the question that their length are in the ratio 3 is to 2. So we can, in, we can suppose that the first one have length 3x, the second one has length 2x. If we divide the length ratio 3x divided by 2x is same as 3 is to 2. So 3x and 2x can be taken as their lengths. But we don't know the value of x. We must find out what is the value of x. From this figure can we see that this length 3x plus 2x must be equal to the length, length L of the original spring. Therefore, 3x plus 2x is equal to L. That means 5x is equal to L and hence x is equal to L by 5. So we found the values of x as L by 5. So put x is equal to L by 5 here. You will get 3L by 5 as the length of the first spring. And similarly, putting x is equal to L by 5, 2 into L by 5 is the length of the second spring. After obtaining the length of the two springs, we know that the spring constant is inversely proportional to the length of the springs. Or we can say, k multiplied by, cross multiply here, k into L must be a constant. That means, the product of the spring constant and the natural length k into L must be same or constant for all the three pieces because all these three pieces are made from the same material. So, their product must also be the same constant. Therefore, we can say the k into L of the original spring is equal to k into L of the small piece is equal to k into L of the other small piece. That means k into L is equal to k1 L1 is equal to K2L2. Now we substitute the values of L1, L2 here and here. So we get this expression. After obtaining this expression by cross multiplication here between these two equations, we can say K1 is equal to 5 times of K divided by 3. L, L cancel from both sides. K1 is K1 is equal to 5L by 3. Or first of all, we can cancel all the L, L, L. We can cancel. We get K is equal to 3 by 5 K1. And here 2 by 5 K2. Then cross multiply. So K1 is 5 K by 3. K2 
one is five k by three, and equating this with this, k two is equal to five k by two. K two is equal to five k by two. So in this manner, we have obtained our answers. But wait, I will tell you a shortcut method now. How you can avoid this long calculations, and you can easily tell. Just by looking at the ratio, you can tell what is the final answer here, okay, of the spring constants. So <coughs> let us look at the shortcut trick. How we can get the answer in less than five seconds? So suppose the question is like this: a spring or spring constant k is cut into two pieces of length ratio five is to three. Find the spring constant of each piece. So now look at this ratio five is to three. Five plus three is equal to eight. Okay, so just add these two numbers. Five plus three is equal to eight. So this eight will come in the numerator, and these five and three will be coming in the denominator. So we get this answer k one and k two as eight k by five, eight k by three. Within five seconds, you can tell what will be the spring constants of the two small pieces. Let us practice one more question on the next page. Here we will find out the time period also. A spring block system has time period t. Let us say this one. This spring block system having block of mass m and a single spring of spring constant k is having a time period t, which should be two pi root of m by k. Standard formula. Now, if this spring is cut into length ratio two to five, this spring is cut into the length ratio two to five, and then they are connected in parallel to the same block. So these two small small pieces. Having spring constant k1, k2 are connected in parallel with the same block. Then what will be the new time period of oscillation? Okay, so can you guess what should be the value of k1 and k2 from the shortcut formula just we saw on the previous page? Yes, we can say that the spring constant must be this. How this ratio 2 is to 5 is given? Add 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. So that number 7 will be coming in the numerator, and the 2 and 5 will be coming in the denominator. Therefore, seven k by two and seven k by five will be the spring constants of these two small pieces. Then we also know that when springs are connected in parallel, then the k equivalent is k one plus k two. For series and parallel combination of springs, kindly check my another video which is uploaded in the same playlist. So uh, the k equivalent for parallel combination will be. K1 plus K2. Here are the values of K1 and K2 obtained by the shortcut trick just now I told. You. So let us add both of them. 7 by K by 2 plus 7 by 5. So in 7 K we can be taken common. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 5. This 1 by 2 plus 1 by 5 will be 5 into 1 5 plus 2 into 1 2. Uh, so we get 7 divided by 10. So 7 into 7 49 and divided by 10. 10. This is the K equivalent of this system. Then, using this formula, time period, we can write down that uh, the new time period for this combination should be t dash is equal to two pi root of m upon k equivalent. Here is the k equivalent. Put the value here. So k equivalent is substitute here. We we'll get this reciprocal. Okay, so for nine k and divide by ten, m comes here. Now, uh, from this uh, square root, we can take uh, root ten by root forty nine. Outside and remaining thing will be two pi into root of m by k. But this quantity two pi root m by k is same as our original time period t. So we can write down this as root ten by root nine square root seven root ten by seven into t. So this is the answer of the question that after the springs are connected in parallel after cutting, then the new time period t dash will be root ten by seven times of the original time period. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please press the like button and kindly give your comments for further improvement of my video and share it with your friends, your classmates, so they can also learn this concept. And please subscribe to my channel. My channel name is the Physics Guru. And thank you again for watching my video.